Hey pasa my weirdos, it's your boy Laguna. Here we are again with yet another video trailer review. And for those of you that don't know, today was DC's fandom. These guys said, hey yo, we're gonna have our DC fandom and we're gonna treat our fans to just a little, a little taste. They busted out with quite a bit of trailer sneak peeks and honestly from the pictures that i've seen for the movies that they're getting ready to bring out they look really really good so we're gonna go ahead and start going into them we're gonna do all not in this video but i'll bring out more videos for each trailer review our first segment for this is going to be the flash it's a shorter one out of the three that i saw so yeah let's get into it All right, guys, so here it is, the Flash first look teaser trailer, DC Fandom 2021. Full screen, of course. Greetings, DC Fandom and Domers. Ezra Miller here, live from the set of The Flash. It looks like this. We're very excited to show you the movie, uh, and we can't yet because we're still making it. We wanted to show you a teaser, but we can't because <laughs> we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. Okay. We, we can't make a trailer. Uh, but we do have this small <laughs> sneak peek that my maestro Andy and I have put together that we really hope you'll enjoy. And I will see you in theaters later next year, or more importantly, you will see me. All right, okay, so it's a sneak peek. Tell me something. You can go. Anywhere you want, right? Any timeline, any universe. Oh, why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? You change the future. And you change the past. Ah, la verga. No, mom is way. Are you in? production all right all right a lot of a lot of details in that what like 30 40 second little segment a lot for it to digest there were some pretty sick shots from what i saw so let's let's get into it let's get into it let's start from the beginning so obviously we start out with barry taking a taxi tell me something you can go. So, if I'm not mistaken, that sounds like Michael Keaton, which, for those of you that don't know, is like one of the original Batman, Batman from like way back in like the 80s, I believe. And this is clearly like Wayne Manor, like no, no other person in the DC universe that Barry would be going to their house has a big ass fucking manor. Clark Kent's a fucking reporter. Hal Jordan is uh, lives on like a military base or some shit. He's mostly with the Green Lantern Corps and all that sort of shit. Diana lives with the Amazons. So this is clearly Wayne Manor. Michael Keaton's talking. So I know that there was a lot of talk. Well, let's just let's just let's just get into it. Whoa, whoa. Anywhere you want, right? Any timeline, any universe. So obviously the lever that he pulls isn't what he's doing here. Uh, the lever that he pulls is probably turning on the lights of the, I think it's probably like the bat cave. What, what they're probably doing there is they went to an old Wayne Manor. See the walls are all like, like rock. They probably, this is probably them going to Wayne. He, okay, okay, this is my theory. 
because this flash more than likely is going to deal with flashpoint where he goes to the future uh, goes to the past and fucks up the future right so possibly when he goes to the past or com goes comes back from the past he finds everything's fucked up he he's like well i need to find bruce wayne because he knows what's going on he goes to wayne manor finds wayne manor all dilapidated and fucked and they go in he turns on you know he goes into the bat cave and he turns it on <gasps> oh flashpoint this is okay because there's been talks ben affleck ben affleck wasn't going to come back as batman so this is how they're going to do it this is how they're going to take back ben affleck out of the dc universe because he, his contract was up and all that good stuff he's no longer going to be batman so this is how they're going to do it he creates flashpoint when he comes back it's a different bruce wayne it sounds like michael keaton which is an older version so possibly when he speaks to michael keaton he like goes to a different universe or some shit but that's my theory of how they're going to you know make sense of ben affleck leaving the dc universe this house obviously this is during flashpoint this is when he goes back to his parents house what kind of this kind of looks for those of y'all that have seen the cw slash show correct me if i'm wrong this kind of looks like that house i love his suit by the way he's rocking the the injustice games fucking flash suit where it's all like got lines in it and shit that's that's sick why do you want to stay so in my opinion i think the flash that goes back that we see in that previous shot is not the same flash i feel like he's a different flash obviously he's probably waking up or some shit or he just came back to the future he's coming home that's his mom and he's freaked out because she's alive i'm trying to save this one this is probably ezra miller i don't know who this is it's a darker skin tone maybe like an african-american character change maybe like maybe when he like green lantern i don't know and obviously paused it perfectly the cowl this is batman's cowl so i think this and there's blood so i think when he went back and came back to the future he finds like all of the superheroes that he once knew dead the future and you change the past this is probably like a first iteration of his suit because if you can see there's no lines it's just kind of like a bodysuit and it seems a little obviously it's it's different from the one that we saw in justice league the justice league was more like armor plating so this one kind of reminds me a little bit more even with the emblem in the front it reminds me more of the flash and the flash cw series and for those of you that don't know in there it's it's canon it's confirmed that this flash and that flash are like they're not in the same universe but they're they're like aware of each other because crisis on infinite earths uh barry starts like going through the speed force or whatever and he's stuck in the speed force and he comes across ezra miller's flash and they talk and he was like yo like the universes are being destroyed he's like what the fuck are you talking about you're from a different universe he wasn't aware of the multiverse but grant grant gus grant gustin is that his fucking name grant gustin he's a, like obviously he's aware of the multiverse and all that good stuff so i feel like this especially with the emblem it's it's similar it's super fucking similar it's got the, the lightning bolt and the circle in the front skin tight the fucking helmet looks basically the same too like this is either probably like after he met the the cw's flash and he kind of like took it because he liked his suit or maybe it's before maybe it's like one of his first ones the ring so okay let, let's go back we, we saw a lot in the span of very low so i think this is probably like flash's like origin he's he's like making his his suit and he's like spray painting it and stuff because this one kind of looks a little similar to how it was in the justice league kind of like armor plating feel the ring obviously i feel like this ring i don't think it's his idea he probably gets it from a different flash and his suit the fucking suit that suit is sick 
I, I that one of my favorite suits was like the Injustice League uh in, in justice league the injustice game suit i think it's also in one of the the, the newer comics and animated the dceu the, the animated one his suit and especially in the flat oh it's the flashpoint suit at the end of the the flashpoint movie when he gives bruce the letter from his father and he runs away it's this fucking suit so i have a feeling this was maybe like after everything goes down one thing that i'm kind of finding interesting is look at this dude this dude is ripped he's got muscles and one you can't see his fucking face if you remember the flash from the justice league he was a scrawny little motherfucker like he wasn't juice this dude's got like look he's kind he's got he's ripped you may say it's a suit or anything like that but even still like this dude's like packing so it might be ezra miller or it could be like a different iteration of him you know you never know obviously we got the batman i feel like this is gonna be the michael keaton batman that we heard talking at the beginning of the trailer and this is him coming out and i feel like they went to go seek help from him are you in so obviously so okay yeah so look this almost the exact same suit as grant gustin's suit skin tight white emblem with the the lightning bolt on it now one i think because this is a different ezra miller and if you look this one's a little more this one looks like he's packing a little more this one looks a little bit more juice this one looks a little skinnier and who's this is supergirl this is fucking supergirl right here look she's got the superman logo okay so we got supergirl so okay this is my theory this is my theory right here this Ezra Miller Flash and this Ezra Miller Flash are not the main character Flash that we know from Justice League. The one that we're going to kind of be following in this Flash movie. What I think is he's probably gone to an alternate universe or they've come to him from an alternate universe. They need his help because, you know, something happened. Flashpoint created some sort of shit and they're like, yo, like we need to fix it. And these guys have come to him for help and this is like the multi-universe crossing team or whatever looking at this dude's emblem i feel like he's the one whose boots we saw earlier that he spray painted because it looks the same yellow spray paint i'm really fucking surprised that we're bringing out a super girl here i hope that they do more with her maybe like bring her in you know in the regular universe um but yeah i don't think any of these are from the call it universe prime i don't think these are from the universe prime universe that we know uh from justice league i feel like they're from different universes also another reason for that is look at the look at the emblem that they have here it's not the same as the uh, the flash the the main one who was like you know are you in it was different I feel like Ezra Miller, he's going to be the one in that like light, like tricked out fucking suit. Maybe after he's gone, like some training or some shit. Cause he, like I said, that dude looked jacked. The Ezra Miller that we know, like he's, he's pretty scrawny, you know? I also like another reason I, okay. What will be sick. And I have a feeling it'll happen is that the grant gustin flash is probably gonna make a cameo in this movie uh because if you look at like the logo of the movie it's kind of similar to the flash cw's flash logo and like the entrance even like the the, the music to it like listen to the music It, to me, it's just got a very CW Flash vibe to it. So I have a, I'm pretty sure that that Flash is going to make a cameo. Obviously, they're in the Batcave. This is when they first show up. Bruce has been gone. This is after they turned on the light. And obviously, it's the Batmobile. Because if you remember from Justice League, he was like he was like in love with the fucking Batmobile. So he's, he's like, oh shit, it's a Batmobile. And I think because obviously it's not, it's not like a tank. Oh, 
Oh shit, we're gonna get the fucking original Batmobile. That's what we're gonna fucking get. Because it's not a tank like the one in Justice League where it's, it's basically just a fucking tank on wheels. We're gonna get, this is gonna be the original Batmobile. Bet, 100%, 100%, this is gonna be the original fucking Batmobile. Yep, yep, because it's Michael Keaton. Of course he's gotta have his fucking Batmobile. So yeah, guys, that was the Flash teaser trailer that they busted out in DC Fandom. Let me know what you think. As and you know, I, I came at this with an unbiased opinion. As you all know, I'm a big Marvel fan, but I appreciate a good superhero movie when it comes out. DC, and I'm not talking smack, I'm just kind of speaking my own truth. DC has been lacking a little bit in the superhero movie area. I mean, Man of Steel, it was all right. It was okay. Batman v Superman, I mean, we all know. We all know what was up with Batman v Superman. Justice League was, I feel, a step in the right direction. It could have been a lot better. Zack Snyder's director's cut version, where the fuck, is what it should have been. But, you know, we got what we got. It was a step in the right direction, and I feel like DC is finally starting to understand that, yo, they need to step up their game, they need to go fucking crazy, and they need to actually put in work when it comes to, like, origin stories. Aquaman was great. I don't know how they're going to do it with the whole Amber Heard situation, but that's a conversation for another day. But Aquaman was great. I feel like they're doing a good job with The Flash. I feel like it's going to, I think it's going to come out pretty well, and it's also going to help close up a lot of loopholes that happened because of like batman v superman and justice league and all that good stuff i think it's going to close up a lot of loopholes and fix those issues so that way they can move forward very cleanly from what i saw i love ezra miller ezra miller is hilarious i feel like his take on barry allen was very comical very funny and i feel like that's kind of like where they're going now because they realize like batman v superman was just so and man of steel which is like so dark and so like bruh like that they understand like yo you gotta you, you gotta live in the mood a little bit you know like aquaman was still had some comedic timing in there uh the second wonder uh, both wonder woman movies were, were still pretty good they had some comedic stuff it wasn't all death and destruction wonder woman the first one that was uplifting like that should have been the first one that they came out with i feel like if that one was the first one that they came out with people would be a lot more invested in the dc movies than they are now but i digress um shazam it was it was a fucking comedy movie that was comedy movie you know comedy slash superhero like that's what it was very you know i feel like that's what it needed and i feel like they're gonna follow that up with the flash it's gonna be real you know action but with comedy in there and i feel like that's where dc really needs to go because you know i'm sorry dc but y'all motherfuckers y'all y'all tanked y'all y'all you know when first off marvel was already like he heard the gunshot blast and he was already running fucking dc like fell at the starting line and then when he finally started like running he was like was hopping on one leg trying to like catch up it's just like no like dc i'm sorry your 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 villains and your superhero i'm just talking about like comics they're great they're amazing you're in my personal opinion dc's villains are a lot better than marvel's villains and there's so many things better that you could do such great source material that you could pull from that i feel like y'all just kind of half-assed it so i have really high hopes for the dc movies um you know be honest coming from a marvel fan change my opinion change my opinion you know make me switch sides make me switch sides let me know but yeah guys that was the first one as you know i'm going to be doing all three uh teaser trailers uh you know sneak peek stuff like that that dc fandom let out this weekend um i will be bringing them out the rest of uh it'll be today tomorrow and then the next day i try to do three days um if you have any other videos movies games whatever that you want me to take a look at and review have my own take on it whatever i'll be more than happy to do so just let me know leave it down in in the comments below speaking of the comments 
you know, drop a like if you like the video. Drop, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. Make sure you hit that notification bell because that always helps, man. But yes, I love you all. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.